Hello and welcome back to Bomb Tree News. My name is Andrew, I'm joined by Chris, and we'll be covering the news that we found interesting today. A Mega Man Battle Network fan game is releasing a new demo, and it includes online multiplayer. Battle Network is a spin-off series from the Mega Man world, which features tactical RPG gameplay rather than the traditional side-scrolling gameplay. There hasn't been a Battle Network game in 12 years, but fans have been hard at work on their own game. Mega Man Battle Network Chrono X is set to launch its fifth demo iteration, which will include a story mode as well as online PvP multiplayer. The trailer for this demo looks great, and it really captures the look and feel of the Battle Network series. If the story is good and they can actually handle online multiplayer, and also assuming Capcom doesn't shut it down. This could turn out to be a really great fan game. If you've never played a Battle Network game before, I'd recommend checking out the series, especially if you're a fan of tactical RPGs, and this fan effort seems like a great place to start. The next demo for Mega Man Battle Network Chrono X launches on March 18th. I Am 8-Bit has revealed a new secret project for the 2016 title, Inside. The company is breathing some new life into the game with a brand new Inside Collectors Edition created in collaboration with Play Dead and Real Doll. The only details we have to go on, at the time of this writing, are that Collectors Edition is a limited time release, includes a region free PS4 copy of the game, and you can only buy two per person. The mystery begins with the price of a whopping $375. The Collectors Edition GIF you see here is proudly displayed on their store page at the moment, and while it features a very iconic creature from the game, the retailer insists that they will not tell us what is in the box and it may not be what we're thinking. To deepen the plot further, the company adds that the Collector's Edition weighs a surprising amount which is why the shipping and tariffs are so high. That's a suspicious sign to me, as they are collaborating with Real Doll who make life-size realistic people. What's to say they couldn't manage to make a life-size abomination as well? I don't usually even consider games offering $400 Collector's Editions, but I'm super tempted just to find out what's in that box. Pre-orders for this edition begin tomorrow, March 8th, and end on June 8th, 2018 with a firm promise of never, ever returning. Devil May Cry HD is out early for Twitch Prime subscribers, but the game seems to be suffering from a few major bugs. The game is part of the Devil May Cry HD collection, which releases next week, and this part of the collection was released early for Twitch Prime subscribers. Pretty soon, players begin to complain about a strange frame rate bug. Apparently, for some players, a bug would cause the game's speed to be tied to the frame rate, causing everything in the game to run way too fast, sometimes twice what the speed should be, rendering the game unplayable. The game also currently only supports a resolution up to 1080 despite an official from Capcom stating that the collection would support 4K resolutions. While temporary solutions are available, like locking your frame rate to 60 frames per second, it's unfortunate that this problem even exists. This early access to Devil May Cry for Twitch Prime subscribers had already been delayed due to technical issues, and with this early access being so close to the game's full release, it seems fairly likely that Capcom was well aware of these problems, but needed to get this out there sometime before the full collection's release, since they had already advertised it. Hopefully they'll be able to patch these issues soon, as I'd hate to see this potentially great collection ruined by technical issues. Well, that's all the news we found interesting today. Feel free to share any awesome gaming news you may have missed in the comments below, and we'll see you guys next time.